subscribe for daily boxing videos, guys. If Javante Tank Davis wins his next fight, we look forward to Javante Tank Davis fighting Lomachenko after this fight. We know Tank fights in April. Lomachenko fights in May. I already spoke to top ranks Todd DeBoff, and we're going to make that fight happen between Lomachenko and Javante Davis. So that is what former pound for pound king and now TMT promoter Floyd with the Jr. had to say. Um, he said that he has spoken with uh, top ranks Todd DeBoyf. I think this is how I pronounce his last name. Sorry if I'm butchering. Uh, and he said that they're attempting to make his fighter, Javante Tank Davis, face Lomachenko. Now, right now, Javante Davis has a fight coming up on April against uh, Cesar uh, Kilar. I, uh, I believe that's how he pronounce his last name. And, of course, Vasily Lomachenko has a fight uh, on May between uh, Jorge Linares. So, if both of these guys get past uh, their next opponent, Mayweather is saying he wants... Davis to fight uh, Lomachenko. Now, I'm just curious where the fight's going to happen because Javante Davis, I believe, is still fighting at 130 while Lomachenko is fighting Jorge Linares at 135. So, will this fight happen at 135 or 130? That's something I would like to know. Uh, I think this is great news because, you know, for the longest time I've been saying that uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. is protecting Javante Tang Davis. I think it was pretty obvious that Mayweather uh, didn't have confidence in his fighter on facing Lomachenko. And I even think that Davis didn't have the confidence in himself or the self-belief in himself that he could beat Lomachenko because he always, uh, every you know interview I saw of Davis, he never seemed too keen on facing Lomachenko. But it seems that things are starting to change. Mayweather seems that he wants his fighter to fight Davis. I mean, uh, Lomachenko. Um, I certainly think that uh, Lomachenko is a better talent than Davis. But I do think that Davis has the ability to knock out Lomachenko as well. Because Davis is a big puncher. A very devastating puncher. Uh, he's a vicious short fighter. Uh, but Davis, is, like I said, he's a short fighter. Uh, Lomachenko is taller by about an inch. I believe he has a longer arm reach. Uh, but I think that uh, when it comes to Davis, I think the way to beat Javante Davis is actually to try and outbox him. And that's what Vasily Lomachenko does perfect, right? He's a long, rangy type of, of a fighter, you know? He uses his footwork and his speed to basically outwork his opponent and just outspeed them, you know? And overwhelm. That, that's the word I'm looking for. He, he overwhelms uh, his opponents. Uh, you know, so it would be interesting. I think it's a very interesting fight. I really hope they these two fight. Uh, I think it's a really a very interesting fight. Uh, Lomachenko versus Davis. You know, both of these guys are young. They're both undefeated. Uh, but if if I had to like choose who I think would win this, fight, I think I would be leaning more towards Vasily Lomachenko. Just based on the fact that Vasily Lomachenko, uh, in my opinion, is the better technical fighter. And I think he's much faster than Davis in terms of hand speed. But I think that Davis actually has more one-punch knockout power. Because I've never seen Lomachenko, you know, knock somebody out cold. I think Lomachenko is one of those guys that uh, he really, when it comes to, like, knocking... Or stopping an opponent. It's all about accumulation. You know, he throws so many combinations. He's so fast that just by accumulation of punishment of him con continuously, you know, hitting his opponent uh, over time, eventually they wilt and he breaks them and he makes them quit. You know, he made, he's made, I believe, his last four opponents quit. And it was all down to the fact that he was too fast and he was just overwhelming them. Uh, when it comes to Davis, I think T Tank Davis, I've seen him knock guys out with one punch, so I think he's more of a one punch knockout power, you know, the question would be, could he make Tank Davis quit, um, 
I find his fight with Jorge Linares an interesting fight. I'm definitely picking him, to, uh, uh, Vasily Lomachenko, to beat Jorge, Jorge Linares. Um, although I think it's interesting, I do think that Jorge, Jorge Linares is kind of overrated. Uh, you know, this this is a guy who has four losses. Um, okay, he beat Luke Campbell. Okay, he beat Anthony Corolla, uh, Corolla but uh, Luke Campbell and Anthony uh, Corolla, however you say, you know, Crayola, however you say his last name. These guys are no world beaters, man. Come on. You mean to tell me Luke Campbell, Anthony, or Kevin Mitchell? You know, these are, okay, decent level fighters. I mean, Luke Campbell, you know, a lot of people have a lot of high hopes for this guy, but the guy lost to Evan Mendy for crying out loud. Evan Mendy's a, you know, journeyman, you know. So how good is Luke Campbell really is the question you have to ask yourself. Uh, you know, uh, so, again, I'm, I'm leaning towards Vasily Matenko to beat him. Um, he might even make him quit. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but I actually find <laughs> Vasily Lomachenko versus Javon Tank Davis more of an interesting matchup. I just think it's more interesting. I think Lomachenko is... Uh, no, I think Tank Davis is a little bit more dangerous than Jorge Linares. Jorge Linares doesn't have punching power. He's, a, he's not a big puncher like that. And he's not really explosive. He's more of a kind of a technical...